What's up guys? Funk with you with the love of reading and I'm doing a reading vlog today on some science fiction novels that I've been looking forward to for a long time now. I'm currently finishing up with The Lord of the Rings, almost got it done now, and I want to change it up from fantasy to science fiction. I went to the library today and three books were in that I'm anxious to share with you guys, so let's get this started. The first thing I've got for you is a book by the author Brandon Sanderson, someone that I'm relatively new to. I've only read two of his books so far. This one is called Skyward. Now the reason I picked up Brandon Sanderson is that I like his imagination. He's absolutely brilliant with epic fantasy, and I'm curious if that same quality of writing comes through in his science fiction books. I know he's not as well known for science fiction. I've read his The Way of Kings, which you can see right there, and also Words of Radiance, which you can see right here. And I'm going to be reading Oathbringer, which is the third book in his Stormlight Archive, but I finished the Revelation Space series by Alastair Reynolds recently, and it's gotten me hungry for some more science fiction. I don't usually read the blurb on a book uh, before I read it because I don't want any spoilers. I just want to go into it blind. So I'm going to give Skyward a shot and see if Brandon Sanderson is as good at science fiction as he is fantasy. Now the next thing I've got for you is a book that I've wanted to read for about a year now. My library didn't have it. They sent to another library for Consider Flebas by Ian M. Banks. This is the first book in his culture series. And I love a series. I love a series whether it's fantasy or science fiction or even horror. I love The Vampire Chronicles by Anne Rice, which is kind of fantasy. I love Stephen King's The Dark Tower series. That's my favorite story of all time. You guys know I love King if you watch my show. But so many people have said that this Ian M. Banks is a hard science fiction writer. He has these huge, broad ideas. There's a lot of scope to this culture series. From what I understand, the book was written in 1987. So I'm wondering if it's going to be a bit dated concerning the ideas. But I've got so many recommendations for this author, and I'm really excited to finally read the first in his Culture series. And finally, the last one that I have for you is the book that I will read next, as soon as I finish The Lord of the Rings. This one is by an author, I'm going to attempt the pronunciation of the name. This one is The Three-Body Problem by Lu Shisheng, translated by Ken Liu. Now this is the winner of the Hugo Award, and it seems to be a book about an alien invasion of Earth. And that is not the kind of science fiction that I would normally read, guys. I like the deep space kind of space opera science fiction novels, but this has been so highly recommended, and I've heard that it's extremely unique. So I'm going into it basically blindly, but I'm really happy about this one. You know, ever since I finished Revelation Space, I've just wanted some more hard science fiction with some really great ideas in it, and hopefully the three-body problem comes through for me. And there you have it, guys. You know, I love escapism, and I love putting my mind out among the stars when I'm reading a good science fiction novel. It's one of my favorite ways to relax, reading a great story. You can probably relate. Let me know what you think about science fiction down in the comments below. Let me know if you have a good hard science fiction book recommendation for me. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you later, guys.